Hi friends, as always I'm very excited to see you here. If you're meeting for the first time, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, research and statistics on this channel. To stay updated with the latest on this channel, I urge you to consider subscribing to the channel. The mass media is responsible for what is known as mass culture and popular culture. Almost everyone is attracted to some of the diverse elements of mass-produced culture. Let's find out about popular culture explained in this video. Popular culture is no longer seen as a cheap alternative for mass production. It's a vital new form of cultural creativity and enjoyment. Popular culture was often used in the pejorative or a negative sense and used to denote inferior culture. There are a number of different aspects of culture. Culture is something that is collective and shared with others. It must have some symbolic form of expression. Culture also has the same pattern, order or regularity. It has a dynamic continuity over time. Its essential attribute is communication, which is needed to develop, survive and extend culture. Johann Gottfried Herder is credited with coining popular culture in the 18th century as a way of describing authentic culture. John Fisk says, Popular culture is formed always in a reaction to and never as part of the forces of domination. To become popular, it must meet the various interests of people. According to Welsh socialist writer Raymond Williams, the idea of culture and the word in its general modern uses came into English thinking in the period of the Industrial Revolution. Hence, a definition of culture and popular culture depends on there being in place a capitalist market economy. Any definition of popular culture uses a complex combination of popular and culture. Raymond Williams suggests four meanings for popular culture. 1. Well liked by many people. 2. Inferior kinds of work. 3. Work deliberately setting out to win favor with the people and 4. Culture actually made by the people for themselves. One dimension of popular culture is numbers. It is a quantitative index which has the approval of many people. Sales of books, DVDs or YouTube hits for example. It could be the attendance at concerts, sporting events and festivals. We could also scrutinize TRPs for different television programs to demonstrate popularity. Another definition of popular culture is that it is the culture that is left over after we have decided what is high culture. Popular culture is here a residual category. It accommodates texts and practices that fail to meet the standards to qualify as high culture. In other words, it is inferior culture. This definition of popular culture supports claims that popular culture is mass-produced commercial culture. Whereas high culture is the result of an individual act of creation. To be real culture, it has to be difficult. This difficulty guarantees the exclusivity of its audience. A third way of defining popular culture is as mass culture. It is mass produced for mass consumption. Its audience is a mass of non-discriminating consumers. The culture itself is regarded as formulaic or even manipulative. It is a culture that is consumed with brain-numbed and brain-numbing passivity. According to many critics, mass culture is not just an imposed and impoverished culture, 
It is an imported American culture invented in the US cities. Some scholars regard the texts and practices of popular culture as forms of public fantasy. Popular culture is understood as a collective dream world. Popular culture is the culture that originates from the people. It is a culture of the people for the people. It is often equated with a concept of working class culture as the major source of symbolic protest within contemporary capitalism. One problem with this definition is that who belongs to the category of the people? Another definition sees popular culture as a site of struggle between the resistance of subordinate groups and the forces of incorporation operating in the interests of dominant groups. From the perspective of hegemony, scholars see it as a terrain of ideological struggle between dominant and subordinate classes. According to Graham Turner, popular culture is a site where the construction of everyday life may be examined. The point of doing this is not only academic, it is also political, to examine the power relations that constitute this form of everyday life and thus reveal the configuration of interests its construction serves. A sixth definition of popular culture is influenced by postmodernism. Postmodern culture is a culture that no longer recognizes the distinction between high and popular culture. For some, it is a reason to celebrate an end to an elitism of high culture. For others, it means the victory of commerce over culture. Popular culture is a terrain where identities are articulated, negotiated and consolidated. Class position might provide individuals with cultural constraints and a common frame of meaning. It is a site for the negotiation and articulation of class identities and other hegemonic discourses. John Fisk rejects the argument that lines of division of cultural capital follow the lines of division of economic capital. According to him, there are two different economies, cultural and social. Even subordinated people have semiotic power in the cultural economy to shape meaning autonomously. The mass media are responsible for mass culture and popular culture and have colonized other cultural forms. The most widely disseminated culture is what flows through the media of films, television, newspapers, internet, video, etc. Elite taste can't be differentiated since everyone is attracted to mass media culture. Scholars have noticed the common roots of both mass-produced news and popular culture. Both are communication products that came into existence in the rise of the era of industrialization and democratization and transformation of communication and culture into commodity forms. Researchers have examined the representations of news journalism, journalists and reporters in the popular cultural forms of the novel, film and television. This provides a glimpse of the commodified vision of the press represented in the public imagination. News, on the other hand, may complement or challenge popular culture representations. A great deal of complexity about popular culture arises from the absent other, which always frames any definition we might use. 
it is never enough to speak of popular culture we have always to acknowledge that with which it is being contrasted there is no single or correct way of resolving these problems thanks for staying along friends as always it was a delight having you here i'll be back with another video very soon till then have a great time